예. 네. 준비 되셨나요? 예. 네. Okay, then uh, let's just start uh, afternoon, sec uh, afternoon second session. Uh, first speaker is Moin Park from Sequest, and he will talk about, about the standard cosmology in Hozaba gravity, the past and present. Okay, please start. Thank you. Uh, uh, today I will uh, talk about some uh, study about the standard cosmology in Hozaba gravity long time ago when the Hazaba uh, gravity was proposed. Now recently there was some uh, progress because of the uh, accumulated data. So we revisited the issue with uh, uh, Niels Elgin. So I will uh, report about the progress. Uh, so, Basically, in the quantum space-time, Lorentz symmetry is not quite manifest, and uh, so in, in, the, in the in the context of physics theory, uh, renormalizability uh, is quite important. Even we are considering gravity. Uh, about thirty years ago, Hozaba uh, found that uh, even gravity can be uh, power quantum uh, renormalizable without the uh, use of Boltz problem. Once uh, Lorentz symmetry is uh, broken in UV. So, this action uh, basically uh, what he proposed. Actually, but this action was based on the early work of the Lipschitz and Dewey. Uh, here, the action uh, is uh, described by uh, like this. The first term is the usual kind of term, but with the lambda deformation, small lambda. And the C, C square term is quantum tensor square term, which is a six order term with the UV parameter nu. And the, the other uh, lower order term, this is fifth order, and this is fourth order term, and another fourth order term, and the uh, user second order and the cosmological constant term. But this was basic uh, proposal, but uh, with only this term, we cannot uh, uh, obtain the viable gravity model. So we need uh, this additional uh, parameter uh, in the IR region. So we call this IR modulus parameter omega. So now all together, we have a six parameter like right here, kappa, lambda, mu, mu uh, lambda, double, and omega. In, com in comparison with this proposal, uh, GR has actually four parameters where lambda is already fixed to one and we know CG lambda. So uh, altogether we have additional two parameters which need to be in fit to uh, 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 our universe. More generally, the action can be written in this way. So this is the same kind of term and uh, you can write the remaining uh, uh, term without the spatial uh, time derivative, but only with the spatial derivative. So we call it a potential V. V has, can be written in this form based on the Hozaba proposal with the uh, uh, arbitrary function here. In the original Hozaba proposal, Lambda, uh, the parameter is given by in this way, in, in a quite special way. In particular, lambda four to lambda six uh, satisfy this relation. So this is a decay balance uh, case. But here we do not uh, consider this kind of special choice only, at least for alpha four to alpha six UV parameter. I will explain about uh, the reason why later. Now the action. Uh, is a six order, uh, six derivative uh, theory. So that, but the six derivative uh, term is required by power counting uh, renewability in three plus one dimension. Generally in four, in D plus one dimension, we need two D uh, derivative. So now let me consider uh, a user FIW cosmology in this Hozaba gravity. Then the user homogeneous isotropic cosmological solution is given by this. This is ANSATS. Uh, when the uh, non-flat universe 
kappa is introduced. So closed, flat, and open universe case. The lambda uh, R lat is current universe radius. Now, if we I mean, consider use a perfect fluid uh, with NSNC low end pressure, the, um, the action gives the following Friedman equation. The left hand side is uh, basically Hubble parameter square. And then the right hand side is given by this one. And the, the, uh, here you can see rho and rho and p is the usual normal matter. And the, the other one is all the correction from the Hadaba gravity, which is uh, depending on the theory parameter the kappa mu and k and lambda double omega. Here, the uh, uh, low sign is for ds, is in our universe. You, so you may consider just the only the low sign here. Some remark is that uh, interestingly, even though the action has a six order, there is no contribution from the fifth and sixth derivative term, but only from the fourth order term in the action. This is basically due to the simple uh, FRW background property like this here. So because of this, even though you consider covariant derivative, especially covariant derivative, there is no effect. So that's the reason why, uh, why this term, why this kind of term do not produce any effect in the Friedman equation. So only this term produce effect. But this is fourth order, so that actually gives a to the uh, fourth power in the Friedman equation, like here. So this is uh, the the first uh, higher degree correction from the Hadaba, and then the remaining correction here, like here. And the other uh, uh, comment, of, yeah, of course, if we introduce uh, something like this. Uh, uh, this kind of uh, uh, high derivative term I mean, with the uh, sphere six or six derivative term, then we have a uh, eight to the minus six term in the freedom equation, which is usually called stiff matter, but we do not consider this case in our work. Uh, and also the eight to the fourth, which is a uh, I mean, high degree correction from the uh, double gravity is only exists when non-flat. So non-zero non K is considered like here. So this is multiplied the case here. And this is also multiplied case here. So, uh, so that means, uh, so non-flat universe uh, uh, is a dominant for small a. And also in other words, for large a, we recover the usual cosmological solution for GR. So this, uh, because of this, uh, Hodaba gravity is kind of a natural laboratory to test the non-flat universe in standard cosmology. Uh, so here, this is only about the uh, background, but if you consider high, I mean, the perturbation, even for a flat case, flat case, high derivative effect actually reappear. So actually this effect is important to get the uh, uh, wanted the scale in the scalar and tensor spectrum. So this is some summary. So if you consider, for example, uh, a tensor and vector scalar uh, 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 perturbation, then tensor part is uh, uh, depending on alpha four, but scalar part depending on the disk combination. But in the detail balance ca uh, case where uh, uh, that Hodaba uh, originally considered, this term vanishes. That means there is no six order term. So that means there is no vulnerability uh, and there is no uh, scale event power spectrum. So we need to you know, break this detail balance condition. So that's the reason why we are considering more general um, setup. So this is what I have explained. So in order to have a both scalar and tensor, which are I mean, scale, uh, scale invariant spectrum, we need to uh, both add a four and the non-vanishing combination like this. And uh, 
And also, if we consider uh, Sasaki Mukanov like gazing bearing variable in our setup based on the FJ Hamilton reduction method, the physical mode are tensor TT mode and scalar method methods uh, mode. So there is no additional uh, extra scalar gravity mode. So this might appear in the, um, in the uh, some gauge variant sector, but it doesn't appear in this gauge invariant. So that means this uh, mode is not physical. So now let me return to the background. So in the background, so the additional contribution to the freedom allocation from the higher uh, derivative may not be distinguished from the dark energy by the by definition. So here I include the uh, cosmological constant term here. Then low end P of dark energy can be written, I mean, can be read simply in this way. The, so then the uh, freedom equation can be written in this way, introducing dark uh, 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 low and P, you can simply write down here. Now, once we, since we have a low and P, we can uh, sim uh, simply calculate the equation of state of this dark energy, which is depending on the K, omega, and lambda, and also A. So that means this is dynamical. So now some remark of the equation of state is that uh, so if you consider, I mean, extremely UV, so when A equal to zero, you have one over third for any non-flat universe. So that means there is a radiation rise in early universe, which is uh, usually called early dark radiation. In, however, in Arya, when A equal to infinity, you have minus one, which is nothing but uh, cosmological constant, just because we introduced cosmological constant by hand. Now, uh, in between two extreme cases, equation states generally fluctuating depending on the K omega lambda. So we need to determine this parameter by comparing our universe. So th these four are typical uh, diagram depending on the omega lambda. So when omega is bigger than lambda W, you have two singular points. When they are the, they are the same, one, there is only one singular remaining. And also, but when lambda omega is smaller than uh, th or lambda W, you have a smooth, but it's a little bit fluctuating like here, something like this. So now a uh, long time ago, I consider, I mean, apply this uh, theory to compare with the observational data. At that time, WMF3 was the uh, most recent data. So I use that. There, con for constant or uh, equation of state and uh, omega k was determined in this way. So I use that uh, information with the uh, uh, h naught value, which was assumed uh, at that time. So now uh, I, from this, state, this, this data, I obtained this lambda w omega u. Then I have some uh, prediction for equation of state. So for A uh, parameter, when A equals one, we are here. So this is a past in the, in the, no, this is the future of course to minus one in the past uh, one third. This is what I've already explained. So there is some fluctuation. So, uh, and also uh, WMAP at that time, I mean, use this uh, Hubble parameter diagram. So, so H that is called usually Hubble parameter. The Hubble parameter at our current universe is defined as Hubble, uh, Hubble constant. So there is no reason why Hubble constant uh, bearing in some way. So that's by definition, H that is should be constant. So recently there was an uptake about the uh, result because I mean, a recent data is Planck uh, uh, 2018. So this is uh, some summary of the uh, pr that progress. Uh, uh, this is WMAP9, which is before the uh, Planck data. So red one is the most recent one. And this is some summary of uh, uh, this omega K. Omega K has a peak at the non-vanishing value of omega k. As well as there was some tension in the Hubble constant H naught. So in the past, there was some 
uh, some complicated mixture of the data in this way, but currently it seems to be some, there is some bifurcating of the data analysis. So uh, when I consider this analysis, it, said it was a 2007 data, it was WMAP3, it was located here. So it's still inside the era, but nowadays we have uh, this data. It's, it's quite I mean, precise. So in a simple way, you can see WMAP3 uh, was here, but now we, have, we are here. So it's quite distinct data. So blue one is kind of a local measurement. And the uh, red one is kind of um, uh, based on the Ramda CDM and we use the CMB data. So we need uh, uh, all universe data to uh, get this one. So uh, this is uh, some recent update. So now, I mean, because of this uh, recent uh, 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 status, I need to re revisit the standard uh, cosmology in Hazaba gravity, but with more complete data analysis. Previously, I used only the best uh, value, but now I need this more kind of, a, even more full data with uh, um, in the, uh, uncertainty as well, and uh, including DAO also. Now the option, I mean, the option was uh, to see whether the tension could be resolved or reduced in a fundamental way, because we are considering some fundamental you know, that, that is uh, some, uh, some phenomenological theory. So actually there was some hint, I mean, the, this guy, this person actually, I mean, the person who read the uh, uh, local measurement, which is quite different from the um, in Frank data, he argued that uh, we need a kind of new physics in order to resolve the h naught problem. So one of them is if omega k is negative uh, like this value, then we, I mean, I'm sorry, so here, the blue one is. Um, I'm sorry. So blue one was um, Planck data, and the red one is a recent. I mean the uh, local measurement. So there was uh, I mean, uh, about about five sigma no about four sigma discrepancy between two measurements. So in order to I mean the fill the gap. One possibility is if omega k is non non uh, zero value, no negative value, then you you or you might reduce the uh, tension to this amount. And also, if we have some dark uh, early dark uh, energy, then you might uh, reduce the tension up to this point, something like this. So this was I mean kind of a hint to I mean when I was first studying this. Uh, limited uh, analysis also, because as I have said already, uh, non-flat universe is essential in Hozaba cosmology. And also there was already all the dark energy like um, uh, quantity in the Friedman equation. So now uh, I consider some serious I mean, analysis about this I mean, idea. So now let me uh, write down the I mean, uh, Friedman equation into uh, uh, into this way, where omega capital omega user, I mean density parameter, uh, 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 the same as in, in user. But here, omega dark energy has a three part, as I have already seen in the Friedman equation. So radiation like and corpuscle like and just uh, um, cosmological constant part. So which depend on the omega k, and omega k, and omega lambda. So, so but th there are basically two models, A and B, depending on the how, I mean, implement the omega uh, dark energy. In, uh, 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 so uh, depending on the, I mean, I mean the, how to implement the, I mean, the I mean, BBN-like parameters to here or, or, or not. So for model A, only dark radiation as contribution from some hypothetical, hypothetical excess in the uh, an effect. So this is a number of I mean, um, massless uh, particle like a neutrino or photon for BBN. So this was the usual BBN value. So if I uh, introduce delta N, uh, 
uh, dark radiation can be written into this way by introducing delta n effect. So this is model A. Model B is we are not considering this uh, kind of implementation, but a, uh, we just consider omega dark radiation as independent quantity and uh, run, the, run the code. So this is our main result. Uh, here, black one is lambda CDM uh, without, uh, uh, without K. Green one is uh, lambda CDM with K. So if you see uh, this uh, picture, for example, here, green one is lambda CDM and K lambda CDM is a little bit a broader range, but it includes a, a lambda CDM. And also if I consider model B, which has, uh, which does not have any uh, BBN-like uh, implementation, it includes also a lambda CDM, K lambda CDM, but it, I mean, best value is quite depart from the that value. For example, here, H naught is bigger than the uh, uh, lambda CDM, I mean, value, something like this. But for model A, there was much departure from the lambda CDM prediction. So um, this is a I mean, uh, simple uh, explanation, but here some more detail. Uh, the results show that uh, the user paradigm of uh, meta and lambda as like this uh, three uh, versus seven is still robust. And uh, Closed universe is more preferred uh, with a higher accuracy, like here. Uh, this, I mean, uh, uh, as you can see, there is a reduced uh, error. Uh, another important thing is a more closed universe for higher H naught is I mean, the, uh, found. And also, uh, as you can see here, Blue one is local observation with uh, uh, one sigma band, and uh, dotted line user lambda CDM. But our result, I mean, uh, for that A and B is, is much closer to this local measurement. So in that sense, our H, H terror tension is somewhat uh, reduced. And also, I mean, regarding the um, Omega K, we found a very strong and a strong Bayesian uh, preference in, in contrast to uh, uh, definite preference for lambda K LCDM against a flat lambda CDM. As you can see, this Bayesian factor. Here's a summary. Uh, so we, we have the more uh, Bayesian preference for the non flat cosmology for model A and B based on uh, Hodaba gravity against the flat uh, lambda CDM. Uh, but uh, we need to uh, analyze other cosmic tension like a gross tension or sigma A tension or discordance problem by properly implementing perturbation. So this is work in progress using the CAM or Cosmo MT. And uh, in the perturbation side, uh, gauge invariant perturbation for non flat cosmology uh, is, is quite I mean, important. So the question is what's the law of non flatness in free model power spectrum? So this is an important issue, which is the open question. Now, I mean, uh, for physical side, we need more I mean, complete revision of all inverse physics like DDN because Lorentz violation is essential, so we might consider Lorentz violation standard model in early inverse, something like that. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Is there any questions? Okay. So I have a very lot of questions. So here, if you if we consider who's about cosmology, then but then, then if we consider the gravitational waves, then what could be the difference with the theory and the Lorentz symmetry broken cosmological models? Uh, you mean that the pretty model uh, correct, um, yes, right. Away? Yes, right. Yep. 
um, so basically, um, um, gravitation wave speed depending on the uh, scaling factor A. So it, it is not constant anymore. Okay. Yeah. Okay, is there any questions? Okay, if not, then let's thanks Moin again. Okay.